Hello Techies. In the previous tutorial, we have learned how to work with move or rename a file action. Now, in this tutorial, we will learn how to move a file from one folder to another folder with the help of path by using move or rename a file using path action. Let me drag and drop this move or rename a file using path action onto the workspace. The main purpose of move or rename a file using path action is to move or rename a file by using path within the OneDrive. If you see the parameters, the first parameter is the file path. If you see the difference between move or rename a file and move or rename a file using path is the difference is that in move or rename a file we will use file whereas using path action we will use file path as the parameter and the remaining parameters are same for the move or rename file and move or rename a file using path action. The first parameter is the file path. Now the file path we are going to get it from the get file metadata response or we can give the directly the path over there like we have seen in many sessions such as selecting a folder or file we are going to the root path and then we are going to the particular folder that is subfolder and then we are going to select a file over here all right or to want to dynamically run in that case what we are going to do we are going to select a variable the information of the particular file we are going to get it by using get file metadata response and then i'm going to select the path over here the reason is that i'm going to move a file using path in that case i'm going to use the response of the get file metadata dot path all right let me select that and the destination folder we can give the destination folder whatever we have in the particular one drive in our case i'm going to use destination folder slash what are the file you want to move out let me show you once again there if you see i'm having one of the file with the rpa lifecycle dot pptx i want to move this file by renaming it then how can i go ahead and do that i'm going to say simply rpa dot pptx and then the parameters overwrite i'm going to make it as true and the output for the re move or rename a file using path will be stored in the variable called move file by path response before saving this action first of all i need the file path file path we are going to get it from get file metadata right let me click on save and again i am going back to get file metadata which we have seen in our previous session right let me double click on that now i am going to select a file over here to move or rename a file by using path now in my root i am having power automate desktop there you can see i am having rpa lifecycle dot pptx let me click on save now if i go back to the one drive there you can see in my source folder that is power automate desktop i am having a file called rpa lifecycle dot pptx once i will run this desktop flow for the move or rename a file using path the file will be cut from here and move to the destination folder with the name of rpa dot pptx so in this way it is going to be moving from source to destination as well as it is renaming from rpa lifecycle dot pptx to rpa dot pptx all right now let me go back to the destination folder in onedrive now if you see i don't have with the name of rpa dot pptx we can see lot of names with the docx right rpa dot docx rpa2 dot docx but i don't have any file with the rpa dot ppt format pptx all right let's run the flow to see the output flow execution started as a first step it will get the information of the particular file by using get file metadata and then by using move or rename a file using path it will cut and paste the file into the another folder let me refresh this folder there you can see rpa lifecycle dot pptx has been moved from source to destination what is our destination folder there you can see i'm having the destination folder name itself and then you can see rpa dot pptx has been moved to destination folder along with renaming 
all right now move or rename a file using path having some output which will be stored in the flow variable with the name of move file by path response let's double click on that now if you see the variable values i'm having property and value which are same for all the onedrive for business there you can see i'm having id name display name path last modified by size media type is folder or not e tag and file locator this are all the properties are look similar for all the actions which are available in onedrive for business let me click on close i hope you understand how to work with move or rename a file using path as part of this tutorial